go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new hey what's going on this is mr crane guy back with another video back with another little banger for you so today on this video hey make sure you go subscribe to the channel like the video and definitely share it i got so upset with one of my co-workers that i actually did not record anymore on thursday i just skipped to the next day so y'all forgive me and don't allow people to get you in your feelings okay you got to be strong in this type of business and not let things get to you so remember that for upcoming operators for new operators for veterans don't allow people to get the best of you. You understand? Let me give a big shout out to Premier Heating and Air. They were the best on the job. We did a job in Helena or Cray area at the courthouse and it was all dope. They helped me out a lot. We got it done. So now I got my fuel for the crane and now I'm headed to park it. You know, just remember common courtesy. You always look out for your fellow operator or have your stuff ready for the next day. So I got a question. Do y'all feel like it's better to ride with the block on or the ball? And I wanna know why. So put it in the comments down below. I wanna know why do you feel like it should be a certain way to ride. Because you know, these cranes, you get to travel with the ball on board. So that's the neat part about it. You don't have to really uh, keep it on a trailer. So after I get everything situated, get parked, I always clean the crane out, make sure I get all my stuff to take me out. The only thing I really leave is my hard hat because I feel like, or most of the time I know I'll be getting back into it. Hey, it's a wrap. That's all, folks. 